Now, if you're trying to get your child off their screen and who isn't and into a competitive sport, you may want to consider cheerleading. It's shaking off its rah-rah reputation and becoming respected as a show of strength and skill. Two people who know all about the elite athlete, athletes behind New Zealand's world-class team, head coach Kimberly Ramsey and her son Cameron. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Really lovely to have you in the studio. Um, Kimberly, let's start with you. So no pom-poms at all? Tell us a little bit about modern cheerleading. Yeah, no, we don't use pom-poms because it's really an athletic sport, so we don't have time to pick them up and put them down. So it's a lot about throwing people in the air, a lot of gymnastics, athleticism. Yeah. We've seen this in movies a bit recently, haven't we? So it's taken it sort of beyond that, what we, our perception of what cheerleading used to be. Yes, absolutely. It's um, Think gymnastics, think dance, think circus. It's a whole lot of acrobatics and it's really high energy and yep. a lot of athleticism. And there's some stuff on screen now. Yes, gosh, you have to be really fit to do that. And you have to be have a lot of faith in the people catching you, I would say, as well. So there'd be all of that sort of trust thing there as well. Um, Cameron, how long have you been cheerleading for? Uh, this is my 10th year. So you're 23, so since, yes. since you're 13. Yes. So that kept you out of trouble for your teens? Yep, mostly. And is it gr growing in popularity <laughs> with boys? Um, I think it is with the more boys that we get in, they generally end up staying and loving it. Um, not as many as some of the other countries, but it's definitely getting there. The so stigma, stigma's definitely disappearing. So you obviously got into it because of your mum. Yes. And how did you feel at the beginning when you first got into it? I was originally reluctant to join, as every boy usually is. Um, but as soon as I saw a couple other boys in there starting to learn how to flip, and that kind of got me into it. Because you can do some amazing party tricks, I'd take. Yep. <laughs> how do we fare on a world stage with, um, with our cheerleading? Really, actually really good. Um, we would be, we've gone to the World Championships before and we've come away with a third um, in the globe. It's called the Nations Cup. Um, we actually got third in the world for cheerleading, um, which is pretty big behind America and Canada. We've been doing it for like 50 years. That's incredible because there is, of course, that history of cheerleading in America. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that hard to compete with? It is, but we're definitely getting better and we're training really hard and we're using a lot of new, kind of new tricks and things. So we're, um, yeah, we're really right up there. So how do you start cheerleading, Kimberly? Um, well, you can give us a call on our 100 Cheerleader. Um, mm -hmm. And really just anyone who wants to try a team sport. It's great for girls because it creates this family. Um, they make great friends outside of school. It's very focused on the team aspect of it. Don't have to have any gymnastics, no experience whatsoever. Um, we teach all of that. So, Well, obviously there's going to be some people who have more of a natural talent for it. No, pretty much anyone can be a cheerleader because cheerleader has a lot of different aspects to it. So if you're stronger, you'd be on the bottom. If you're lighter, you're on the top. Top, um, there's just lots of different aspects for it yeah gosh it must be quite quite incredible so what part do you play in it Cameron um, I'm a base so I hold girls up in the air um, and I mainly do lots of tumbles so lots of the flipping elements so you, you do the flipping in front of everybody all the time yep. back and forth yep. was that difficult to learn no I think um, just as a boy who's you know always likes adrenaline sports and fun Whoa. things like that there um, you are on screen. Always... Is, that you, is that you on screen now yeah that's me I'd always so I've been watching people at the Commonwealth Games do enough, something not dissimilar to that. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I kind of fell in love with tumbling as soon as I joined. That must impress people when you bust that out at a party. Yep. They must just be like, <laughs> that is just incredible. So the world champs are coming up, aren't they? Um, tell me a little bit about that. If I think yeah. yeah, well, we're excited. We've got a team of 65 athletes coming travelling and we're really hoping to bring home gold for New Zealand. Um, cheerleading's just gone into the got a provisional membership into the Olympics. Wow. So we're hoping one day to beat the Commonwealth Games for cheerleading and bring home a gold for New Zealand. So where are the worlds this year? Uh, Disney World Florida. And so how do you fundraise for it? Um, <laughs> we do a lot of um, things as a team. So um, at our events we um, you know, do like soft chisels and things like that. Um, and we also go around and do a lot of um, events as performances and things like that. We have, yeah. a great, we have great parents involved yeah, and they absolutely. get really into it as well. So we're really lucky to have yeah. a great team around it's us. good to have the parents there, isn't it? Yeah. What about the choreography involved with it? Who does that? Do you come up with that? Um, we do a bit of choreography together and then we also get the best from the world um, in America to come down and like put a little bit of flash on our routine. Because obviously it's not just the dance, you, there's certain aspects and bits that you have to have in it. Is there criteria that you have to meet with a performance? Like yeah. You've got to do three flips and six tumbles or something? Yeah, absolutely. There's like um, the routine split into stunts where we put a single person up in the air and then pyramids which are linked, um, tumble but combined tumble with everyone tumbling together. There's a whole lot of different elements to it. So obviously you started at 13, Cameron. What mm -hmm. age is the youngest or what's sort of the youngest in your in your team? Three. We start them at three. You can start at three? Yeah, absolutely. So what do they do at three? Uh, just really cute stuff. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Steal the show from the people that are doing all the other stuff? Yeah, we teach them forward roles. We teach, um, we kind of do a mummy and me class where you get to have your cheerleaders, like your 
your little chili to stand on top of you and do little things. So we have mum and like dad classes as well. So oh, that'd be cute. That'd be cool. So Cameron, what do you love most about being a cheerleader? Um, I think originally it was the flipping, learning to tumble. Um, but after that, I think it was more of the family that you get in a team. Um, so I've probably made some of my best friends. I've met my girlfriend at cheerleading. Um, so the people that I will know for the rest of my life. You must do incredible flips into pools as well. <laughs> yeah, I try. Yeah. Yeah, all, of these, all of these extra skills. <laughs> hey, well, it's been great talking to you both. Um, best of luck at the World Champs. Let's hope you bring home something, yeah. something glittery. Yeah, That'd thank be you nice. so much. Thank you so much.